Welcome back and in this video we're going to talk about invoicing settings. Again, really easy, really simple setting screen. Won't take you long to get through this video. Diving into element time, the invoicing settings you're going to find under the settings menu. And on the left hand side you're going to go invoicing. Now these settings are only available for users who are using LMN Pro. Pro is the one that does the invoicing for you. First is a setting regarding the invoice number. So we have an invoice prefix. So if you have a specific set of characters or possibly the year that goes before your invoice numbers, you can set that up here. So in this case, if I wanted something like 2018 to become before all my invoice numbers, I would do that. That way I could see what year that invoice was for by the prefix. The next invoice number is going to be the next number that it assigns to the next invoice it creates. So every time it creates another invoice, it's going to increment that number by one. So LMN will always have a unique invoice number for all your invoices. Now, when you're setting up contracts on your jobs, you can set up your default contract start date and end date here. So in the maybe in the winter when I'm creating my maintenance jobs for the upcoming year, this might be something like March 1st to November 31st. Obviously, depending on wherever you're watching this video, your summer might be different. Um, if I'm going into a snow season and I'm doing my snow estimates, well then my default contract start date and end date around say summer when we start building our snow estimates for the upcoming snow year, we would set that to November 1st to March 31st or whatever your snow season is. So that just allows when I set up my contracts, those to be set correctly during the season that I'm estimating. The other uh, text boxes here are invoice notes. So we don't really promote printing invoices out of LMN although you are able to. So you can open an invoice and you can go down here to print. Now it's a pretty basic invoice print. Usually you'd print your invoices out of accounting. However, some companies for one reason or another don't wanna print their invoices out of accounting. And sometimes you need a little bit of extra in, uh, information on invoices. Maybe your tax number or maybe just a thanks for doing business with us or whatever. That's what these invoice notes are for. So as you enter notes in here in the invoice notes section, maybe it's a business license, um, they'll appear on the printed invoices. But again, we strongly recommend printing your invoices out of accounting. That's where it should be done. That's all you need to know for invoice settings. Any questions, you can hit us up at goalman.com help for our help center, live chat, or email us at advice at goalman.com.